Lisa Hill with Renovation Nation, and I know you guys have just wondered what this beam is and why I've always just had this, this it's an amazing story about this beam. I have Patrick and Rebby, they're the owners of this property, and they're going to tell us a little bit of the history of this beam. Patrick? Yeah, so the um, story behind this beam, this, um, originally this was the back of the house. Okay, so this was the actually this is an addition right here. This was the back of the house. So when we tore the wall down for the kitchen, we figured we noticed that it was became a problem that this back wall was the support for the roof. So something had to be done to create support because we wanted this big open look from this island coming out to the family room. So the only other option was to put these pillars down on each side of this yeah. island, which would ruin the concept of being open. Mm -hmm. So we came up with the idea, Remy came up with the idea with our contractor to maybe put some kind of structure here. It's anchored inside the walls here. The blame is anchored inside the walls by two by fours for the, for the support. It's something here to give the support. And um, Remy will tell you about the process of figuring that out. Okay, so uh, like Patrick said, I didn't like the idea of having a two pillars in the middle of my island. And it kind of like took away from my vision of an open kitchen open floor plan and I start to like look at photos and try to figure out what I can do to um, to avoid having the pillars so I came up with the idea of putting a beam that will support uh, the ceiling um, and start searching for one and finally find this place in Sanford this lumber yard that uh, could find uh, something this big and I was fortunate I don't always have it but uh, I was there at the right time and uh, purchased this beam and uh, it's actually the focal point of the house and we're very very happy about it. Yeah we wanted to put something there that maybe had a dark wood feature because the house is bright and was going to have some dark wood the floors the accent furniture is dark so um, kind of blends in nicely with the barn doors that um, we have too. So people ask if that was done in conjunction with, and that really was the barn doors came first. So that's where the beam um, wanted the beam to maybe accent that. So you know the word is that the beams come from that this place gets the beams from uh, they go out in the bottom of these rivers and drudge these logs up from the bottom of the rivers, and the water has restored these beams, and they come out and they dry them out and they sell them. So it looks very authentic. It's, it's a very natural looking. Piece of wood. Well, this just goes to show you if you have the vision, you can make it happen. And we, I know if you go back and you look at our old videos, you'll see that I was always focused on this beam. When it first was laying in the front yard, I, I just couldn't imagine what they were going to do with it. And I just, I, it's fascinating. So, anyway, this is Lisa Hill with Renovation Nation, and I'm glad that you tuned in today. Hope everyone had a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.